find out. For more, we're joined by Jürgen Pfister, Chief Economist at Bayerische Landesbank. And how does a chief economist spend the weeks leading up to Christmas? Doing a lot of shopping? Uh, mostly more work than shopping. So no Christmas trees for your family and for yourself? Well, of course, a Christmas tree and, and some shopping, yes, certainly. Oh, some shopping. I'm glad to hear that. But, I mean, how important would you say is the Christmas season for the German economy? Well, it's not important in the sense that I think it takes time every, every year. And, of course, the spending of, 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 of money in the course of the year is not so relevant rather than the total amount of spending. So uh, what made the German economy recover so quickly? I mean, it's almost breathtaking if we just uh, take a look at what's been happening, considering especially that we've been out of one of the worst recessions ever in this country. If we can have a look at the GDP growth in Germany over the last decade, here it is. Until 2009, there was a steady growth of about 2%, but then came the huge dip at the height of the global financial crisis in 2009, minus 4.7%, and now we're not only recovering recovering from that, but experts uh, predict growth of 3.6% for 2010. Please explain. Well, I think the big surprise was the sharp recovery of the global economy, which of course allowed German export firms to participate in this recovery. And exports have been grown by, say, 14, 15 percent, almost making up for the loss in 2009. And this is the main explanation for the vibrant recovery of the German economy this year. But how sustainable is that uh, recovery, considering uh, the whole Eurozone is uh, currently in a deep uh, debt crisis? Yes, there are certainly some disturbing factors, not only the debt crisis, but also still the lingering financial crisis. But I think the upswing is firmly on track. But of course, we will go down to a, sl to a lower gear next year at a growth rate of around 2% and probably also in 2012. 2% is uh, still not bad. Do you think we'll have to um, cope with more bailouts uh, for other Eurozone members? Well, I think certainly not in the short term. And we hope that Ireland was the first and the last among the countries asking for support from the EU Commission and the IMF. But of course, uh, we cannot be sure about this. And we see major efforts by these countries to put their house in order. And I think this will, of course, also restore confidence in Germany. And how many bailouts, just in case, just the worst case scenario, how many bailouts could Germany still cope with? Well, under the current circumstances, I think we, have, we would have to pay around 150 billion euros if all went wrong, what could go wrong. But I think this is an extremely pessimistic scenario. Now, in, instead of bailouts, instead of uh, monetary aid, uh, what else can Germany contribute? I mean, obviously, our economy seems to be doing much better than some other Eurozone countries' economies. So what could they learn from us? Well, they could uh, first learn, of course, that to say to make some reforms in the labor market to allow employment to grow and unemployment not to rise that fast is one of the major lessons. If you compare especially Spain and Germany, the, the differences are quite huge. And of course, fiscal consolidation is also a good example, I would say, which will not ruin growth, even if it's done successfully. Jürgen Pfister, thank you very much for joining us and enjoy your quiet Christmas as you finished all your Christmas shopping already.